I think we are about to be live. Let's see. On my back end, there's always this thing in front of the screen before it goes live, so I'm not sure if it started yet. So I'll just sit here and wait till I see stuff going on. Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me. Welcome to Little John's Yarn. It's been a little bit. Haven't been doing my lives lately. So how's everybody doing during this whole uh, COVID-19 epidemic? Are we all on quarantine? <laughs> so where are you at? What time is it right now? And let me know if you're quarantined and stuck where you are right now. Let's hop in the chat and see what's going on. Oh, I see J-Hook Crochet is here. Oh, she said, almost time, y'all. Get your drink. Everybody, get your drinks. I got mine. If this is your very first time here, I always have me a cup to drink. In my cup, I have a cup of wine. I never have coffee or tea, but if you do have that, cheers to you. Thank you for joining me. And the people that are going to be helping me here in moderating this group is Reggie, a.k.a. J-Hook Crochet. She's also a YouTuber. You'll see her down in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to her channel, make sure you go and do that. And uh, I see Aquarian Queen is here. She is from New York, AKA, well, not AKA. Aquarian Queen is AKA. Her name is Letty. <laughs> and also we have Deborah. I don't know if she's here yet, but she is from Florida. She'll be helping moderate the group. So let's see what's going on. We see Laura. She says, hello. Uh, Corinthia says, hi from Chicago. We have Christina Davis, hi. And Gianna from Missouri. And you're not on quarantine. Aren't you lucky? So far, we've been, it's not exactly a quarantine. We're all social distancing, but most of the businesses in my area have been completely closed except for um, the essential workers, which I'm considered one of the essential workers. So it's a blessing that I still have my job. But at the same time, I feel like I'm around all type of germs. And also my husband, he still has his job. He works on food equipment. So restaurants are still open. Since they're still open, uh, they need their food equipment fixed. And I'm not a nurse, so I'm not working in the trenches right now. I'm a therapeutic aide or a teacher counselor. I work with kids with intellectual disabilities. And these children in these homes, their school's out. They need people still to take care of them. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, who else is in here so far? Cool Crafty Creations, hey, how you doing? Uh, you said been on quarantine for over two weeks. Well, at least we can sit here and chit chat together. I didn't plan on having a live stream for at least another month because I thought I needed time to take off. I just couldn't do it. I was just going stir crazy. If you guys have seen me on other things, I have a haircut. <laughs> I just couldn't take it anymore. I had so much stuff to do. I took some yarn scissors and start hacking at my hair. So this is my new haircut. As you notice, it's a little bit shorter than what before. All right, before we get started, as usual, you can always help support um, your favorite creators and influencer channels by donating through Super Chat. You'll see me the sign. I don't know if you can. It's hard to see. It says help support through Super Chat. What that is, it's a way you can donate to, like I said, some of your favorite YouTubers. When you do, there's a little button, I think, down, but I always point to the wrong side. Right here, it looks like a little dollar sign if you're on a, I believe, a laptop. If you're on a mobile device, you'll see a little dollar sign down below. You just click that button. And when you do, if you donate $4 and down, this disco light will go off. If you donate $9.99 and down, the bubbles and the disco light will go off. If you donate $10 and up, the balloon, the bubble, and the disco light will all go off. And somebody let me know before, if you donate uh, or use a sticker when you comment, that won't make those go off, but it's still okay. All right, and I usually have a whole bunch of questions going on during these live streams. And the thing goes by so quickly. So if I missed your question, ask it again. It's because I'm not ignoring it. I'm not skipping it. It just scrolls so quickly. And the way to bring your question to the forefront is also through by donating through Super Chat. So what's coming up on the next couple live streams? You know how we always talk business and how to make money with crochet. Hopefully in the, I've been talking with her, in the month of August, we'll have a interview. I've never had an interview on this channel before with Pam Grice. She is the original crochet entrepreneur. Her name is Crochetpreneur. I, leave, I left her uh, 
address down below in the description box so you can check her out. She's the one who inspired me to start blogging to make more money. So hopefully we'll be able to interview her and ask her all type of questions on how to become successful being a crochet entrepreneur. All right, uh, what do I usually talk about? We always talk about if you wanna contact me or reach me, you can always do that with Happy Mail. I have all that addresses down below. I always, for, let's see if I can find my, here we go. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a button that brings up my Happy Mail address and I cannot find it. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Found it, oh, found it. <laughs> you can always um, send me Happy Mail at PO Box 274, West Newton, PA, 15089. And Happy Mail does not have to always be something through the mail. You can also email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. So now that I found that button, let me click this off and tell you what we're going to be talking about here today. All right. Face mask. Yay or nay. I know you guys seen all these face masks since the coronavirus has hit the streets. Everybody's been making their own versions of face masks. Let me show you some of the ones that I've seen online. Just Google face masks. Just within a short period of time, so many people have started making their own face masks. I'm, I was thinking about making my own tutorial, but I was a little bit scared because some people were saying, no, you should not make these. It's not safe. And let me bring my mug back up. It's not safe. So I wanted to do some investigations to see if these face masks are worth it. So what people are actually using like hospitals, like the face masks that actually work are the N95 masks. Those are the masks that have little respirators inside. Right now in the USA, all these face masks, I guess a lot of people were hoarding these masks and a lot of these doctors and nurses don't have the proper equipment for um, to work in these hospitals fighting this uh, coronavirus right now. So there has been a, a call to action for the handmade crafter to donate and make these for nurses, even though they're not as efficient as these uh, N95 masks. Like this one right here, this is not crochet. This is something my mother-in-law made me. Let me pop it on. Ooh, I got lipstick on. Hope, well, I can wash, that's a great thing. Isn't, oh, you probably can't hear me talk. Isn't this so cute? So my mother-in-law, the original Little John Yarns, she was commissioned to make these for our local hospitals. And luckily she made some of these for me and my family. These are not like the best things to filter. It might be able to stop you from touching your face or whatnot, or spitting or coughing on other people. But if this is all that we have, which is a shame, we should have more for our medical professionals. This is what they're gonna use. All right, let me see what's going on in chat. Wherever you are in the world, are your medical professionals like covered? Like so far in Pennsylvania, we are not the hardest hit state in the United States. We are right below New York. Right now, that is the, what they call it, the epicenter of the coronavirus in the United States. They probably have over like half of the cases in the United States. Right now, I haven't checked in like two days. In Pennsylvania, I think we have maybe four, 500 cases of the coronavirus. But, huh. okay, let's see what's going on in here in the chat. Victoria Price, hello from uh, Illinois. 50 Whips Crochet Lights, ho Crochet Life. Hospitals are asking for people to make face masks for the hospital and donate them. So yes, if you guys have those, sew or whatever, these cotton masks, they're perfect for it. Let's see, we got Luz, hello from Philadelphia. Cool Crafty Creations. I saw a video today where an RN's wife did a tutorial on YouTube where she made some using a vacuum cleaner bag. Hmm, that's, I never heard of that before. Gigi the Crochet Queen. I made my own for my flight to Houston last month, but it, but I did it for myself. And when I did my tutorial, I said it was for fashion, not for medical purpose. All right, that's what I wanted to allude to next. We see all of these going on. We are wondering, in the crochet community, there's been this big thing. I have my notes over here. In the crochet community, there's been this big thing where people were saying, don't uh, make these crochet masks. They're not efficient. They're not going to uh, filter anything. These actually aren't going to filter anything either. But the big thing that people were worried about 
was inhaling um, yarn fibers and you know, that could be dangerous. I'm not gonna say I'm not a doctor. I'm not gonna give you way, I'm probably gonna give you a little bit of my opinion on it, but we crochet ca cows. I never say the word right, cows all the time that cover our face. We crochet baby blankets for babies that we lay over top of them and make all type of things. If we are so worried about, you know, all these acrylic fibers going into their body, I'm like, why are we making anything for infants? Wouldn't that be scary? I know we're not putting nothing directly on an infant's face. So I wanted to research that a little bit more. This whole live stream was not going to be anything. At first, it's just going to be just me bull crapping, but this whole mask thing just intrigued me. So I started researching inhaling yarn fibers. Is it safe to have anything across your face? Because I just don't want to give you my opinion. I want to give you some facts behind it. So what did I bring up? So when I googled inhaling yarn fibers, one of the first things that caught, popped up was the white white lung. That happened when people walk well, bomb happens. I don't know if it still happens. I don't know about cotton mills. Worked in cotton mills all those little cotton fibers that would go up in the air would go into their lungs. Or when people work with asbestos, asbestos is really fine, but it looks nice and soft, but it's really created like really sharp shards or whatever. And that would go into your lungs and cause a respiratory distress. And you don't want any type of respiratory distress right now because isn't that a sign and symptom of the COVID-19? So that was a little bit scary, but when I crocheted personally, I never noticed any type of yarn fibers coming up. So I looked into maybe something else. For people, maybe it's a certain type of yarn, like people who dye their own yarns. When you dye your own yarns, let's say you're using a natural uh, dyeing materials. I got some notes on this. Like many of the natural dyes come in found ground powder, often using wood chips such as birch or bark or logwood or whatever like that. And you do all this process and after you rinse your dyes or whatnot, there still might be that leftover particle from um, the dyes. I can see that working up and going into your nose. And I found out people who use looms, I'm talking about those big, huge floor looms. When you're doing those back and forth, you might notice you accumulate a lot of dust particles and you might start inhaling those. So that's not safe. And I still don't want to say, even though I've never noticed it myself, I still don't want to say, go out and do it. I was thinking of some alternatives. I noticed I was looking into my yarn stash. I'm like, what is the least fuzzy yarn that I can find? I don't think, I didn't link this below, Bo, so you'll have to Google it yourself. I found the Burnett Maker Fashion. I don't know if you can see the texture of this, but this is more like a cabled. It's not yarn, it's not twined, it's not twisted. It's just a cable yarn. It's almost like a tube. Maybe if I can find the end of it. Yes, it's actually like a tube with something inside of it. So it's not your typical yarn. Maybe you can make a mask like that, but there's still gonna be holes in it. It's not gonna be stop you from getting the coronavirus, but it will stop you from spitting on people or touching other things and touching your face but there was a better something I found online. My, let me bring her up, my friend, Patricia Phil, she makes these beautiful crochet masks. Let me bring them up. Before I do, let's see what's going on in the chat so I don't wanna miss any of your questions. Gigi, the crochet queen, she says, I have a bra cup that I use and halter top, so well, what are we talking about in here? Oh, are you talking about the bra cup that, um, how to make your own face mask? Let me finish reading your question, your um, comment. I have a bra cup that I use in halter tops. So that it is what I put on the inside. I see yarn fibers floating when I crochet a lot. You do? I've never noticed them. Let's see what else. Anybody else see yarn fibers? Okay. Stephanie says I always wash and dry the items that I, I use before I crochet. Let's see. Dieta says she uses bandanas. Cozy, comfy yarn says, maybe if you use knit, it can be filtered it more. Hmm, maybe. But let me show you some alternative where you can still crochet all these cool masks. Where am I? Display capture. All right. 
her um Patricia Fields, her website or her Facebook business page is called My Crafty Little Site. You have to check her out. I put her link down below. She always comes up with these beautiful creations. Look at all these masks that she made. You can't say you don't want to make something like this. These are all gorgeous. Actually, she's such a gorgeous girl. She let me use that one picture for my um thumbnail. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, and the hat that she got on, that's one of my um hat patterns. Uh, I did link that down below, but if you look for a vintage cloche hat, you'll find this hat pattern. What else does she make? All of these beautiful creations. Okay. Back to me. What did she do to make this all work out? Pull up my notes. All right, I show the pigs. Here we go. Here's one of her creations. She crocheted this cute little mask, and what she does, she crochets a lining inside. Let me read. Um, she lines hers with cotton, with the uh, because other people had the same concerns about the yarn fibers going in. Eh, all the yarn fibers being inhaled. Then she left a little hole in the bottom where she can put a cotton uh, ball in. And on the cotton ball, she puts some antiviral essential oils inside that cotton ball. So I'm guessing right around here, a hole right here, she dips a ball, or cotton ball into an essential oil and put inside. And of course, you guys are probably gonna ask exactly what essential oil she uses. She uses Steve's essential oils. That'll be linked down below. There we go. Oh, and of course, you'll probably ask for the exact recipe that she uses. All right, I have to, you can't see me get close to the screen because I can't see either. For her, she uses 40 drops of clove bud, 35 drops of lemon, 20 drops of cinnamon bark, 15 drops of eucalyptus, and 10 drops of rosemary. I think that solves the problem for it all. You know what? Make your cute crochet mask. Maybe I'm going to make a tutorial now, but... I think I'm so late to jump on a bandwagon. I can't think of anything unique to make. But sew in a cotton lining. Put your own antibacterial essential oils inside and do what you do. Let's see what's hopping on in the chat. Mo hey, Molly. <laughs> Molly uh, hopped on the chat a little bit early today. She surprised me because she was so nice to donate via Super Chat. And since I didn't tell you cheers earlier, cheers, thank you to you for donating early to Super Chat. But I didn't have my uh, laptop on or anything, but I was setting up getting ready prepared for the live stream. And all of a sudden, one of the lights go off and I was like so surprised. And you guys know I'm always startled. And my husband just cracked up laughing. So thank you, Molly, for the Super Chat. I appreciate it so much. And cheers. You guys didn't see it, but please, guys, cheers. Hmm. Oh, Sharon says, I want to make that so bad. I can never get it right. Hmm. Oh, are you talking about the uh, the twisted uh, cloche hat? If you are, you guys give me a second. I'm going to help um, Sharon right now. Hold on, guys. The Twisted Cloche Hat is one of my most successful and hated patterns at the same time. Most people get stuck when it's time when they get to their twist. When you get to your twist, okay, can you see this, Sharon? This is what your hat should look like. You have your twist right in the middle of your hat. It looks weird. What you're going to do is connect right here, and now you're just going to start crocheting and you can't see it, in a complete circle. You're no longer working in that figure eight. You just pinch off that top and work in a circle. Hey, Patricia's here. Everybody give Patricia some love and look down in my description box and go like her Facebook business page. Her work is absolutely amazing. She takes the most amazing pictures. She's also one of my favorite pattern testers. And every time she tests the pattern, 
her pictures are excellent. I like take my pictures I make and throw them out the window and use hers. I'm like, please, Patricia, could you make one of my patterns? You are actually helping me more than anything. So thank you so much for all that you do. And everybody, make sure you go like her page. Oh, Dieta says, cheers to Molly. Here's the good health, everyone. Thank you, Dieta. All right. Oh, here we go. I can't uh, pronounce your name. It's Ding. I can't pronounce your name. Okay, but you said, I'm a registered nurse. Handmade masks, unfortunately, don't work. I wish they did. They don't work. But like I said, maybe you can tell us, is it a great idea for if you want to prevent yourself from touching yourself from, because that's how you get, and I keep touching myself, but I wash my hands beforehand or spitting onto others. At work right now, we are so low, we have to wear the N95 mask, but we have to reuse them. These masks aren't meant to be reused, but we have to. And this is what some of these nurses and doctors have to do. I was watching on the news, I believe the nurses in New York, they were dressing their PPE clothes. Those are, uh, I forget what PPE stands for, but it's protective gear to keep you safe. They were putting themselves in trash bags. They are in such need of equipment. That's, that's, that's heartening, sad, just horrible to me. I don't understand why we're supposed to be this such rich country, but we can't afford to help the people who are on the front line right now. I'm trying not to get too political, but it upsets me. All right. Shanetta Brown. Hey, trying to watch and everybody I'm wanting to call <laughs> what I miss. You didn't miss anything. We're just talking about a uh, crochet mask. Yay or nay. The big problem with these uh, crochet masks, people are worried about inhaling fibers or there being too many holes in your crochet mask for it not to work anyhow. But um, Patricia Fells, she came up with this wonderful idea. I'm sure it wasn't just her idea, but for herself, she um, sewed in a lining and use her own antibacterial essential oils within a little cotton swab and put it right inside. Will this protect you from COVID-19 and it's gonna filter anything? No, but it's gonna stop you from spitting on others because COVID-19 is spread through droplets or um, like aerosol spray. Let's say you sneeze into the air and this the aerosol of your sneeze lingers in the room and the next person can walk in and inhale it. So, but any type of heavy droplets, it will prevent you from touching your face. Okay. Oh, DN, protective, wait, personal protective equipment, PPE, personal protective equipment. Thank you so much. Doretha, hi, my name is Doretha. I think you are doing, what you're doing is great. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and Melissa, she also told me the exact, uh, what PPE stands for. Thank you. Uh, 50 Whips Crochet Life. Blessings, prayers, and have a good weekend. Stay sane. Okay, this live stream wasn't going to be like super informative. I just wanted to talk about that. Now it's time for me to vent. I missed you guys so much. Everything. Oh, hold on. My husband's about to leave. Everybody want to say hi to Mr. Little John. This is my husband. That's Mr. Little John. You see, wait, bend down. You might have seen this tutorial and this face. That, that's the hat I've made him. Lift up a little bit. Oh, listen, he's so handsome in my crochet hat. Give me a kiss. All right, where are you going? Go pick up the bird. Okay, love you. Love you too. Cassandra, my brother-in-law is military. Most members that I that still have to work have to change in their garage and immediately wash their clothes when they get home. Definitely. When we get home, we immediately take off our shoes, whatever we have to do, and change. I don't want to bring any of that home into my family. At least in the uh, field that I work in, I'm not working on the battlefields. I'm not working in the hospital or directly with sick patients. The people I'm working with, I work inside of a group home. It's more like a home. So therefore, it's almost consistently the same people over and over, which are so far not infected <laughs> so we're all considered safe and we still keep our distances and we're all in protective clothing okay all right lacy horton oh seemed like you said a lot to say let me see if the thing scrolled down lacy horton we are all doing a lot actually it just is an unbearably high need all at once but the private sector is now making gear but it's companies not usually making it, so it took a minute to get it right. <laughs> Iris said, 
Oh, Iris Jenkins, she said, I missed you, missed you too. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm the queen of butcher names. Philomena. I think I said it right. Philomena. This is my very first time. Seems like fun. Thank you. Make sure everybody give Philomena a cheers. If you have your cup with you, whatever you're drinking. Actually, what are you drinking now? If you're a repeat, tell me. You better have a cup of something. Coffee, tea, meat, wine. I got to do some shameless self-promoting. If you like the cup that I'm sipping on, hooker for hire. I have a whole bunch of these in my crochet t-shirt shop. So check that link down below and you can also get your own hooker for hire cup. Oh, I'm in my lazy clothes today. Nothing special. But can you see my shirt? It says, I got 99 problems and a stitch ain't one. That's down in my crochet t-shirt shop. Uh, crochet t-shirt shop too. Whoo, I am tongue tied. Let me take a sip. And remember, if this is the very first time stopping in, you can always help um, support this channel and more videos like this by donating through Super Chat. And when you do, one of my cool little devices should go off and light up. This one is a disco light. We have a balloon blower and a balloon filler upper. Okay, that's a bubble maker and a balloon blower. But we'll see if they work. We don't know yet. All right, where are we at? Hmm. Scroll down in the chat. Ooh, Relic Goods. Hey, girl. Always here. It's a spice rum kind of day. I think so. Stephanie says she has her thing of coffee. Oh, we everybody's drinking. Yay! Here we go. Man, you got water already. Had my coffee for the day. Ooh, hook hook crochet sangria. Sounds tasty. Oh, Marion says, I have that shirt. Yes. Thank you. If you bought it for me, thank you for purchasing that. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones. Uh, my coworkers think, well, not just my coworkers, even my family thinks some of my cro crochet t-shirts are a little bit strange. I got so many of them now. I have so many weird sayings. It's become like my everyday uniform. Hmm. Uh, v. Richards has tea. Uh, Aquarian Queen says, our governor asked fashion designers to design effective face masks and Christian, I can't say the word, started about, started about sweep and, uh, about sweep and a week and a half ago. I think that your autocorrect got there. <laughs> CC Cozy Corner got beer. Cheers. <laughs> I'm going to buy your merch eventually. No pressure. If you do, you do. You don't, you don't. I appreciate it if you do. <laughs> but cheers to CC and her beer. Okay, Hope Loving's Hands, my very first time watching. I've been making the lining with cotton fabric and found some filters online by advising customers not to reuse the filters. Good job. Any of you else seen any type of tutorials on tips on what type of face mask you use? I hear a door. Hello? Okay. Everybody's finally out the room. I can finally vent. I had to wait till my husband left. I had to wait till the kids left. I know nobody else is listening to this, just me and you. I am losing my mind. I cannot homeschool. I cannot work midnight shift. I cannot crochet. I feel like I'm at wit's end. Bless you moms who homeschool their children. I always thought of myself as a great teacher because I work with kids in the school system and help them learn but when it's your own child it's difficult so after me and my son we do our two and a half hours of school it's not a full school day i got two and a half hours and we do our uh excuse me i burped <laughs> reflections in the morning english i'm looking at his uh dry erase boards in the back reading math history and spelling and sometimes we'll do a little science experiment and then we'll go with a lunch and then we'll read a book and i'm exhausted and so I try to sit down and start my little John yarns. And every two minutes, this boy is hungry. I love my son. He's eight years old. He's the cutest thing in the world. But he's hungry every two minutes. He needs something every two minutes. Thank God for my 18-year-old daughter. She gives me a breath of fresh air every so often. I'm able to say, hey, Jada, why don't you do something with your brother for a little bit so I can function? Because, you know, I do work the midnight shift. And my midnight shifts are a little bit odd. They're rotating. So I have a little bit of insomnia. 
and I need a break. So she has been like a breath of fresh air in all of this COVID-19. And for you women and grandmothers who have to take care of multiple children, bless your soul. I hope Reggie don't mind me uh, talking about this. I was chatting with her, I think it was yesterday on Facebook Messenger. And she's like, girl, I feel you. I fell asleep in my kid's bedroom last night and I woke up all confused, not knowing where I was and wondering why I was a unicorn in my room. Where am I? When she said that, I almost died laughing. I'm like, that's the story of my life right there. I just don't know if I'm coming or going. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the chat. Let's see. Mom of 12, all my kids are home. Her name says it all, mom of 12. I'm complaining. I got one kid. She also has her own YouTube channel, so click on her link and check her out. 12 kids. Everybody, raise your cup to mama 12. Cheers. Mm. And I would like to say congratulations to uh, Aquarian Queen. Didn't you just have a beautiful grandchild? Congratulations. All right. Uh, what else? Bon okay, see so if I'm going to pronounce this right. Vontoria, amen. I know what you're talking about. I feel you completely. My daughter is eight years old as well. Why do they have so many questions? Why do they need help opening their crayon box? They need help opening a bag of chips. They need help opening everything. Or, mom, I can't find my shoe. Mom, I can't find my blog. Mom, where's my pants? Give me a second, son. His PS4 stopped working. It was glitchy the other day. And you would have thought, let me whisper, he's probably listening now. It was the end of the night. He came upstairs, his poor little face, tears rolling down his face. He went, Mom. I'm like, yes, son, what's wrong? I'm like, he must, something bad must have happened. This is the worst day of my whole entire life. I'm like, why is it the worst day of your whole entire life, son? My PH4 is glitchy. You know what then i must have gave my son a good life it was the worst thing of his whole entire life is his ps4 is glitchy but everything is like the biggest emergency in the whole entire world so i'm like listen go to bed son i'm tired we'll worry about that the next day and don't you know as soon as they wake up the next morning it's not good morning can you fix my ps4 and thank god for youtube academy i was able to hop on youtube and google YouTube how to fix corrupted database on a PS4 go in the safe mode he's lucky I'm willing to tinker around with stuff but after an hour trying to figure out I fixed this PlayStation 4 you think after that I would get mommy you are the best mommy in the whole entire world I would get all type of lovings and kisses he just immediately started playing games I'm like son you are fired who's hot my hair starting to get flat <laughs> Let's see. Iris, she says, I have a four and seven year old boys and I'm trying to work from home. They are hungry for food, attention every five minutes. Uh, so, okay, I have a boy and a girl. Well, my, my daughter, she's much older now. She's 18, soon to be 19 on April 4th. She's gonna be a big girl. Uh, she's already a big girl. She's a wonderful young woman. But I, when she was eight years old, she was so much more independent. Maybe because I was a young mother, I was only 28 when she was eight years old. And maybe my patience was shorter. I don't know. But my son, he just can't do anything. He's walking out the bathroom like, can you zip my pants? Like, son, I'm like, you're a strong, independent young man. You can be, a, you can zip your pants, can't you, son? He's like, I just can't do it. I need help. Oh, hmm. Oh, who else? Cleva, Cleva, Cleva. It will get easier, darling. I promise. This is new to all of us. Please don't imagine everything has to be perfect. You know what? You're right. About when once school got canceled, usually I have myself on a strict routine. You know, I like to have two blogs published uh, every week. I like to have a live stream and a video every single week. 
I like to post in 60 different Facebook groups every single day and have six posts a day on my Facebook business page. And I post on Pinterest. I have all these schedules running around with my normal schedule and the quarantine, the Corona, I'll call the Corona, the monkey wrench was just thrown into the whole mix and everything just fell to pieces. And I had to give myself a break. I had to tell myself, girl, it ain't the time. And I posted something within my uh, community tab in YouTube. And you guys were so encouraging. I told you, I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to post my videos or my tutorials or my blogs as consistently as I usually do. But I'm still going to be trying to come out with other things. You all told me, like, listen, chill. This is new for all of us. We all don't know what we're doing. This is <gasps> so relax. I need to take care of my family. And I think for the next maybe couple of weeks, I might live stream and put everything to the back burner. I was going to put some of these live streams to the back burner, but I realized this is therapeutic. <laughs> I need this in my life and I need to talk to you guys. Here we go. Jay Hook says, when do we get to the point when they grow up, do the things by themselves and only call me once a week? Uh, I don't think that ever happens. My, I am currently 39 years old and my mom is currently none of, I guess I'm not supposed to tell my mother's day, so I'm not. I call my mom every single day. And you know what? Sometimes my daughter will come to me and ask a question because it's natural for a child to think their parent knows everything. And you know what? I'm still a child. So it's natural for me when I don't know when my daughter tells me something to call my mom. And I'll be like, mommy, I don't know what to do. Help me. And she still helps me to this day. So I guess I'm a baby too. Technically, I am the baby. I'm the youngest of three, two older boys, and I'm the only girl. So yeah, I was a little bit spoiled. Oh, here's an, here we go. Ken says, so yesterday, my son asked me how to put brown sugar and milk in his oatmeal. He's 12. <laughs> Is it just me? I know it's part, it's part my fault too. I'm a new age parent or whatever. If I feel like each generation is less independent. Each generation stays a child longer. It's like these kids, these people are staying a child until they're 30. When I was young, we were able to walk to the bus stop. My bus stop had to be three quarters of a mile away. I had to hike to the bus stop, uphill both ways in the snow. You know the story. Now, my son's bus stop, I can see it from my front door. It's right there. It's against the bus driver will not pick up my child if I am not at the bus stop or if I don't walk him to the bus stop until he's in the fifth grade. He's an eight-year-old. I can see him when I was that age. I was walking to school. Actually, before we moved, my parents moved to where we are now. The school system that had didn't have their own bus systems. So all the children had to actually walk to the school. So that was, that had to be a mile away. I was in the first grade. Back then, nobody cared. If you see a first grader walking now, you know, the cops are getting called on you. And I also remember by the stove, but my son, he's a little bit better though. We taught him how to use the air fryer. The air fryer was the best invention of the whole entire world. You can, the air fryer reminds me of like a crock pot. You know how you can put anything into a crock pot and you just can't mess it up? You can almost cook anything in an air fryer and you cannot mess it up. My, my son, he wants some French fries. I'm like, listen, honey. Here's the frozen bag of french fries. You take a hand in there and put it in the air fryer. I have a little list on a fridge of the times for certain foods. So if you want french fries, you know to put it on, click the 400 button and you see, click the uh, 15 button and it's done. So luckily the air fryer things, he's learning how to cook. Hmm. Here we go. Black Ribbon Crochet Studio. Be careful of thinking that you know you now have to crochet and create everything to perfection right now too. I've been working. Thank you so much, Black Ribbon Crochet. Also a YouTube channel. Click subscribe, check her out. Then come back to the live stream, of course. I had this pattern uh, sitting on my hook for the past maybe week. I created it. I just can't seem to finish it because the children are so hungry. They need so much help. And the husband, he keeps 
He's making dirt everywhere and the laundry is everywhere. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> uh, um, Bontoria says, my daughter loves the convection oven. Greatest invention, invention ever. Iris says, oh, your son uses the air fryer. Hadn't thought of that for mine. Good tip. He even, uh, like, say those, what are they, the breakfast sandwiches? He even pops those in it. You know, he pop the little breakfast sandwich in the microwave. It gets all ooey gooey. He puts uh, bacon in there. He puts um, all his chicken nuggets, chicken patties or whatever. Just pop them in there. Take it out. Easy. Here we go. Hope's loving hands. Oop, it's scrolling too fast. With so many kids going missing, if my, my son was school age, I would be walking him or driving him to school. When my daughter got to the uh, fifth grade, I guess maybe because my parents were more lenient or the time generation I was raised in, you know, is more lenient. I think each generation of parent thinks today is worse than it was yesterday. And when my children grow up and have their own kids, they'll probably also say today was worse than yesterday. When my daughter's around fifth grade, when they were loud, that's around 12 year old. I would let her go out and about with her friends as long as she had a group of three. I'm like, listen, it's probably going to be hard to catch a group of three of you. And my son, actually, in first grade, I have the way my yards are connected. There's three, three parents, three parents, myself, and two other parents. Our yards are all connected. And their kids are exactly the same age. We let them play out in the backyard themselves. All three of them, they would just run back and forth in the backyard. I know a lot of parents are sitting outside watching their kid, which is fine. I got tired, <laughs> you know, and me and those three moms, we would chit chat back and forth like, hey, how's it going when they made it your backyard? They're like, they're, they're in my backyard now. And we just keep on checking in on them. Here we go. Okay, Philomena. I always want to pronounce that funny. Okay, hi from New York, um, Haven, New Haven, Connecticut. This is my first time. Wow, I feel like I said hi to you before, but thanks um, for watching. I appreciate it so much, and I'm trying to be safe. <laughs> I like your little math. <gasps> Lori Murphy's here. It is hard because he is so used to school with his friends, so um, he bugs you. Yeah, he does, and he's a mama boy. I am... But like most moms, I am the emotional. I'm I'm venting you guys. But every time he comes at me with those sad puppy eyes, he's sitting on my lap and I'm sniffing the top of his head. My nickname that he gives me is Mama Legs. I don't know where it comes from. He just says my name is Mama Legs and I have warm powers. I think warm powers is... The way he describes he feels when I give him a hug. So I guess I appreciate that. <laughs> well, here we go. Oop, I'm missing a lot. Tammy, my daughter will cook um, for her and her fiance, usually while I'm working. I'm usually one to clean up. I've even waited for a day to see if she's going to clean up. No luck. <sighs> Vent, girl. Vent. Have you ever went on a cleaning strike in your own house? thinking, you know what, I'm going to stop cleaning and they're going to appreciate what I do around here. Hey, huh. I think I did that for a week and I think my family just are completely blind to garbage. I don't think they see it. My daughter, she's a little bit better. Something happened when she turned 18. Maybe she seen, actually got to see how hard I worked to keep this machine running she'll randomly pick up a broom and sweep or she'll randomly just say mom are you okay do you need anything but the other part of the family I, they're completely allergic to garbage when you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich please put the peanut butter back in the cabinet it's right there or when you take your dish to the sink put it in the sink not on a counter next to the sink oh one of my biggest peeves hoco crochet Oh, uh, my piggy, 21 years old, couldn't handle all the hand washing. He went back to school. He has an apartment he shares with a bunch of other slobs. <laughs> Corona headquarters, probably. <laughs> oh, everybody. This is a sad cheers to hook, hook, crochet. Blessed having sons. 
I, I hope they wash their hands. Um, buy them some hand sanitizer. They're too, they're too lazy to walk. Well, at least the hand sanitizer is back to a normal price. Well, buy him some of that if he's not going to wash his hands. These boys, I don't, I don't know why they just don't want to clean. But do I don't know. About two weeks ago, before everything was shut down, I thought maybe I should go buy myself some hand sanitizer. I got on Amazon. Hand sanitizer was going for like fifty dollars for a bottle of hand sanitizer. This is before um, people were getting in trouble for price gouging. I bought. Do you want to say hi, buddy? Okay. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Like yes. Get some gloves from the cabinet, okay. and you can get spray paint. Okay. He wants to spray paint some of his Legos. He's being crafty, and don't forget to put on the gloves. Okay. Okay. Of course. A question. Can I spray paint my Legos hair? This is the perfect time to ask. Since I'm on a live, I'll probably say yes. But he has a cardboard thing outside. He takes outside, and he'll spray paint his Legos. <laughs> Deanna, have your children write something in their uh, daily journal. Then at the end of the week, share it with everyone while sitting in a circle. That would be so sweet. I did, uh, I don't have his notebook, and I guess I shouldn't read his private notebook. Within our lessons, we do a reflection. So we'll have a reflection like, how do you feel about what's going on right now or so forth? My son's not the biggest writer, so he'll put fine. I'm like, son, we're working on sentences this week. Fine is not a complete list elaborate a little bit but we're working on that one but that is a great idea and I should ask him if I can share it with you guys okay mama 12 Alicia be careful saying coronavirus or COVID because YouTube is demonetizing channels for that and it'll come oh I lost it where'd you go I can't find I was in the middle of reading hers Oh, I lost what it was talking about. Okay, sorry, I couldn't read. The thing scrolled up too fast and I couldn't find it, but they're demonetizing channels for saying the, the C word. Can I call it that now? I don't want to get in trouble. Hmm. Here we go. Well, back to where I was. Lori Murphy says, my uh my niece has a nine-year-old and he is a smart kid and he pushes her button he is great with me you know what i think that what it is sometimes the children uh i love your hair jada sometimes the children just because you're mommy they know to push your buttons and will treat other people just a little bit better he treats my daughter well i don't know he treats my his sister a little rotten too too also <laughs> here we go Mr. Robbie Jinx, can you teach us how to crochet a soundproof curtain for the kids' room? <laughs> My son, bless his heart. Okay, if you just get in here, he's eight years old. He, he has a tendency, I, I don't believe he can think inside of his head. All of his thoughts are vocalized, so he just talks in his room. Nobody there, just talks nonstop, and he is his own comedian. He'll laugh at his own jokes, like die laughing so loud. My bedroom is upstairs across the room and all I hear is, I, I'm not even gonna impersonate his laugh because it's too embarrassing. But this loud screeching curl, I'm like, sometimes when he's laughing, I don't know if he's in pain or not. I've hurt myself running to my son because I thought he was like excruciating pain and come to find out he just, laughing at this cartoon i'm like i'm like buddy can you control i can't tell if you're laughing or crying one time i'm telling my little boy's business now he was in a bathroom he ran out of toilet paper and i guess he was crying for help for somebody to get him toilet paper my daughter's room is right next to his is right next to the bathroom and he's like why did you come and help me she's like buddy i don't know if you laughing or crying i thought he was just laughing buddy we didn't know i'm like then i had to tell him of the story of the little boy who cried wolf and i'm like you got to understand sometimes we can't tell the difference buddy <laughs> okay molly smile says i clean as i go that keeps the house clean at all times clean the toilet and tub before and after issues take shoes off at the door make bed every morning See, I want to be like you, Molly. 
I, let me, here we go. I've always looked to the moms that have their stuff together and like you walk into their home and it just looks beautiful. My mom, bless her. She had three children, two boys and a girl. The house was always immaculate. I mean, yeah, we had 552 chores to do. My, my children has chores also, but it was always beautiful and everything was always put together. Me, I feel like that hot mess mom, you know, I got the shirt with a stain on it. My pants don't match. You know what I mean? The only time I wear makeup a little bit is when I come on live. My hair is always crazy and hence that's why I cut my hair. I'm like, I can't do it anymore. I just can't focus. I got so much laundry. Any any other moms or hot mess mom? I mean, you can tell I'm here at uh, Eastern Standard Time, 2.50 in the afternoon drinking wine. <laughs> it helps me calm. But everybody, give Molly a cheers. I envy you. What you do is hard work. I'm trying to keep up to be on your level, and I'm like dying here. <laughs> Here we go. Where else am I missing? Missing. Tammy, I have blind is a good way. Blind is a good way to say it. But yeah, I've gone three days before. I couldn't take anymore and went oh, and cleaned everything in the house. Oh, that's the topic I was talking about. After going on strike, nobody noticed. <clears throat> okay, we've. Hey, Gracie says, hello, what's going on? Wasn't expecting a live today. I wasn't going to be doing... <coughs> Is that the corona? And I shouldn't cough into my hand. Hey, Jada. Hi. Never mind, Isaac. Yeah. Can you get my hand sanitizer out my bag? Because I'm coughing into my hand. I should be coughing over here. It's on the outside. You found it? Mm -hmm. It's on the outside of the bag. There's an outside pocket. There's an outside pocket of the bag. <laughs> the other side, son. <laughs> you feel it? Never mind. The crone is just going to stay with me, guys. <laughs> you found it? Thank you. You are the best son in the world. You want to um, stick your head to the camera and say hi? Hello. Okay. He gave a hand. Hmm. Okay. Bobby says, I'm the only that will help mom with the house. Still, I am still am today. Also, I help with the puppies too. I don't understand kids nowadays. Just don't care anymore. They don't. Oh, speaking of kids not caring, I always, this is jumping from topic to topic. When I was growing up, I've always called people Mr. or Miss, Sir, Ma'am. That's just been my nature. If I met, uh, We'll take Deanna's name for the first time. If I met Deanna, I'd be like, hey, hello, Miss Deanna, or whatever her last name is. That's how I was raised, and you know, that's how I raised my children. But I finally made it to the age where I can get the respect of being called Mrs. Little John or Miss Alicia or something like that. And none of these, I've, I've not been called it. My children's friends try to call me by my first name, and I'll be like, no, my name is Mrs. Little John. And they're like, okay, Alicia, or okay, Isaac's mom. I'm like, don't call me by my first name. Respect. Hmm. Okay, what else is going on? Relic Good says, I made soap two weeks ago. No excuse not to wash hair. Hmm. Virgie says, yes, clean as you go. My husband is always posting that he cooks on social media, but I really want to post how he leaves the kitchen. <gasps> Virgie, we must be twins. My husband, uh, he's a chef. He loves to cook. He cooks the most beautiful, delicious food in the whole entire world. And he is the cook of the house. I don't have to cook. So yes, I'm very lucky. I should appreciate that. But if you ever see the kitchen after he cooks, yesterday we had a, a delicious, uh, it was just a chicken salad and, oh, that's the kid walking out. I thought it was my husband. Shh. We just had a chicken salad with some fries. It was just Something healthy and light, delicious. I walked into the kitchen. I'm like, what is going on in here? Complete disaster. I'm like, what's going Or if we have spaghetti for the day. I'm like, why is there 15 pots? 
wonderful cook, but if our people would just see the work that I have to pay, the dishes that I have to wash, <laughs> it's rough, but I feel your pain. Cheers to Reggie over there. Ah, uh, CC, but it just takes 30 seconds, no more to wash your hands. Are we talking, oh, about people not washing their hands? Yeah. <laughs> Black Ribbon Crochet Studio. I think this turned into a bit incest. She says, it kills me how they can sit there and watch me clean. Not you, buddy. I'm reading comments. My son walked into the room like he thought he was in trouble. <laughs> but I'll do that. Let's say I'm bringing up loads of laundry and I'm folding on the bed. You know, my son's been sitting there clicking through the channel. I'm like, can you, I, we can share the loads of laundry together. You know, I have to do this every single day. Help, stop watching me clean. Stop. <laughs> Relic Goods. I'm mom or Miss J. I made it known 29 uh, years ago that Mrs. Johnson is my mother-in-law, not me. <laughs> All right, Molly Smile, my male roommate cooks, but I clean when he's done. I hate cooking and he's a chef. I like cleaning, so that works out well. Oh, you putting on your beautiful makeup? Yeah, I even have a problem with the makeup. Is he a crazy cook or like a not a not as dirty cook? <laughs> Let's see. Irish Jenkins, I was raised the same way, teaching my kids to do the same. Put a handle on people's name. It's just respect. Whisper SDI, oh, Whisper SDI, oh, I need to do this right now. Whisper SDI, uh, she was currently have a sale on yarn right now. Can you leave a link right now? It might not pop up, but we'll approve it, make it go through to your yarn shop. She has such beautiful yarn. Make sure you check her out. Because right now, the coronavirus, people don't have jobs right now, especially in the USA, if you're not an essential worker or your job, you can't work from home, you're out of work, no income. And right now we're still waiting for our whatever package to get approved by Congress. And I've noticed, I was talking to uh, many people online, like from different countries, like within days, their country like issued the money. America, what's going on? There's people struggling in Florida. Ah, uh, forget which city it was. Somebody turned off their electric during this shutdown. How are you going to turn off somebody's electricity right now when they're unable to pay their bills? But regardless, I'm on my soapbox again. Make sure you check out Whisper SDI. She has some beautiful yarn. Please leave your link. Oh, but she says, I'm old fashioned. I will kick my kids off the couch. Give them something to do. My parents used to say, uh, wake us up and kick us out. Get out and go play. I tried to take that same approach with my kid. I'm like, Isaac, get out, go play, and go do something. But have you guys noticed kids don't play outside? He went outside. There's like no kids out there. Where are the kids? I can walk this whole neighborhood and not see kids. When I was growing up, you can hear kids playing from miles away. You know what I mean? Somebody would wake up in the morning and knock on your door and say, can Sally come out to play today? And we all run off and go play together. Where I was raised, I was raised out in the country. We used to make this loud noise because it would echo. Ooh, whoop! And my friend can hear me from far away and they would make the noise back and we would just find each other and go play, these kids. Deanna says, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. We all should wear shirts with this um, shirts with this on it, the front, to remind everyone it's missing in our society today. Yes. J Hook Crochet, yes. Check out Whisper Crochet. She has beautiful yarn. I'm a happy customer. Yes, see? A review right there. <laughs> Molly Smile, but I want a few boyfriends to cook for me. Hey. Cheers to Molly. Um, Ella M, I love your channel and your patterns. I started crocheting when I was eight or nine. I hope you and your family stay safe. If you read this, I hope to tell everyone that I wish God to bless you and stay safe. Thank you so much, Ella. Here we go. 
A. Gracie, I'm still working. Working from home isn't an option. What do you do? If you don't mind me I'm asking, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Whisper SD says, uh, Reggie is my return customer. CC Cozy Corner, what inspires you to make your live videos? I have a page that I'm tempted to make some, but I'm a very shy person. Maybe I should try drinking. I don't want to be a bad influence. I've, I, it took me a year to go live. This calm demeanor that you see in front of you that seems all confident on camera is not me. I'm a very quiet person, shy, I'm an introvert. I am, but I'm a researcher. Researching information is one of my favorite things to do. So I started to talk to other people who did live streams like on Facebook or live stream. Well, actually only people who did live um, streams on Facebook because I didn't know any live stream YouTubers yet. And I said, how do you do that? How do you just feel confident? And they're like, you'll be fine. Just do it. And you're always on YouTube. Anyhow, I'm like filming myself on YouTube is different because if I mess up, I can delete and start all over again. Like if you guys seen any of my um, footage of me doing a tutorial, there are so many bad words in there. I just have to delete. I get so mad and God, you, all type of stuff. So I was scared to go live. Then one day I'm just like, I just got to do it. That's how the whole drinking start. I liquid courage. I don't promote this, but that's what I did the very first time. I'm like, let me have a drink. And I was trying to trick you guys, making you think this is tea. Cause you know, I see other um, YouTubers and live streamers. They have all the sophisticated and they're having coffee and chit chat. So i tried to make you believe I was drinking coffee until, you know, like halfway through I'm on my second cup and I'm like telling the truth. <laughs> but the more I do it, the easier it got. It's true. The more you do it, the easier it does get. And the reason I have topics, because I think it was Reggie told me most people on live stream uh, don't have topics. The reason I chose topics because I was scared of things. I didn't want to run out of things to talk about. So I tried to think of things that you guys might ask questions. So since I'm a researcher, I would research all information. Even today was an easy live stream. I always have notes and outlines so I don't get stuck. So if I feel there's a dawn moment, I can, where am I? So my topics are just anything that I'm think of or what's current right now. Right now is the, I heard I can't say the word, but the, the C virus. <laughs> um, somebody said, uh, Mama 12 said I might get demonetized. Actually, it doesn't matter. The coronavirus, that was a great topic. What was it? Remember when Disney was trying to, it's not sue. They threatened to sue people on Etsy for selling their baby Yoda patterns. I did a topic on that. Do something that's relevant. And most of my topics are making money with crochet. Who doesn't love topics about making money with crochet? Oh, Jay Hook, thank you for um, putting her Whisper Crochet Store link up there. You guys make sure you check her out. CC Cozy Corner says, I guess it's all about trial and error. I love the drinking idea. I think people like it too. Well, it came up accidentally. I'm glad you like it too. Speaking of, let's fill it up. Okay, where are we? Let's drink wine and champagne glasses. Ooh, fancy. I need to get me one now. Michelle says, Oh, it's starting to scroll fast. When I was growing up, you had to make sure you were in a house by the time the street lights came on, but we didn't have computers. Exactly. I remember the first time I realized ch times were changing. I think it was when my daughter was like 13. I let her have a slumber party for her birthday. Her friends came over and you know, back when we had slumber parties, it was a party. We were doing seances. Remember, light as a feather, a stiff as a board. We were putting toothpaste on the first person that went to sleep. We were having all type of fun. You know, I went upstairs to check on the girls to see how they were doing. And they're all quiet. In their little devices, just not paying attention. I'm like, times is changing. Oh, there's my daughter listening. <laughs> they didn't do stuff like we did back in the day. They... 
That's why I can't talk about these kids while they listening. <laughs> yeah, my daughter is the only one who listens. Uh, J Mac, I just took my Mac Pro out of the box. I can see chat and hear you, but I can't see you. I wonder why. Can everybody else see me? Same hair at uh, Michelle. Molly smiles. I think the people getting penalized for saying the C word is because of what they're saying. There are people giving advice on social media and banning it uh, for health purposes. You know what? Uh, the YouTube algorithm, since I'm a researcher, I research the algorithm a lot. For me, because I make YouTube videos, I always want to show up on the first page because if you don't show up on the first page, you're not getting seen. So I research that a lot. I, I've, I've been drinking. I already forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I forget. <laughs> LM, do you remember any summer or spring patterns to keep me busy during this boring time? Yes, I have a couple. We're going to go behind the scenes. I didn't have this planned out and look at some of my patterns that I really like for summer. Um, because I don't like to, I did make a couple of holder tops and whatnot, but over the past couple years since I've been making holder tops, so I am my own model. I put on a little weight and I don't feel like being in a holder top on camera and all of the good stuff. But I'll show you some of the patterns that I have. A lot of hats. I enjoy hats. Oops, not that one. Display. YouTube. This is the back end of my YouTube. There we go. Actually, it's probably been easier if I just went to my channel. Do, do, do videos. Maybe was it a flower hat? I forget the name of it. Let's see what pops up. I don't want that one. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. This is a good spring hat. It's the vintage. Uh, it's inspired by a Juliet cap. If you ever seen those hats from like the twenties, uh, flapper style, like. When the women got married in the 20s, they wore kind of like a hat like this one. Let's see. Here's another good summer one. This is made, you probably can't tell, it's a complete mesh with a sunflower on it. Where's another one? Up oh, here's another great summer hat. Complete mesh with another flower on it. Mm -hmm. What else? Do I have any holters? Holter. Holter tops. There we go. Some of my holter tops I've made. Oh, I don't have that body anymore. She was nice. Oh, barefoot sandals. Those are great. Even though I guess not too many people are going to the beach right now. <laughs> All right, let's hop back into me. I feel like, I hope, I don't know when this will end. I just want to do something. I want to take the kids on vacation. I want to do something. I'm glad my husband was pressuring me before this whole uh, pandemic happened. He's like, you need to book us a flight somewhere. We need to go on vacation. And I was procrastinating. I'm glad I did because our flight or whatever to wherever we go would be canceled. Okay. Where am I in the chat? Aquarian Queen is back. Oh, sorry, phone. Grand Central. Hmm. Oh, Deanna says, uh, granny squares are nice because you don't have a lot to carry around with you. Good using for all your scrap yarn. That's what I want to do also. Oh, yeah, a great idea. Last year, I did a scrap yarn summer series. It, I, I released a video Monday through Friday, each day being something you can do with your scrap yarn. I wish I linked that down below, but if you go on YouTube, search uh, scrap yarn, summer scrap yarn series or whatever it is like that, I'll probably pop up because I'm good with ranking. That's probably why I was talking about that because I'm very good with ranking. So one of them was a face scrubby. I did sandals. What else did I did? did? What else did I do? There's five things. I can't remember them all, so you definitely have to look that up. Um, hmm. I must have missed the start of this uh, because the banks want bailed out. Hmm. 
Oh, that was in Lake Worth, Florida. They turned off utilities. That made national news. I forget. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, uh, Dieta says, don't forget your donations for Alicia. She gives us so many free patterns and advice. So nice. Thank you so much, Dieta. I appreciate that. Oh, TDSM19. Patricia, I just made a black and gold blanket. My son is a Hawk, uh, Hawkeyes fan. I need to make a blanket. I haven't had any time to make any blankets or something just for myself. I need to just, like I said, live stream with you guys and in my free time, just crochet, enjoy myself. Do, 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 do. Ella, I remember watching that playlist and waiting each day for the scrap projects. Oh, thank you so much. I remember uh, that's before I got, maybe that was two years ago. That's before I got good with the camera and the microphone, the introduction to all those videos. You could not hear me speak. It was so low, but now I've got a video for that. But the videos itself were all audible, except for the introduction video. That didn't have patterns that go along with it. Mary Ford, do you have any patterns for KitchenAid mixers or Vitamix blender covers? No, I don't. Um, no, I don't. Hmm. My hu huh. I'm going to have to try that one because I know my husband has all the, he doesn't have a Vitamix blender, but he has this big, huge, weird blender, kind of like that one. The scrap yarn lanyard. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, um, there, that was my favorite. It, I had made a scrap it, for like a wine glass. Of course it was for a wine glass. I love wine. You put it around your neck. It was so pretty. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, I'm going to show you guys the scrap yarn series since we're still here. Do, do, do. Display capture. Let's see how well I rank. Scrap yarn series. Look at that. I rank number one. See, I do my math on how to uh, use the YouTube algorithm. What are some of the ones that was in it? Here's the playlist. We're not going to play them all. We're just going to look at the pictures. Hold on, pause that. Stop. There we go. We have the face scrubbies, the wine glass holder. I taught you how to make big old buttons. Oh, yeah, I did the summer crochet headband. And this sandals. And here's some other stuff I just added in that you can use scrap yarn too. These sandals were some of my favorite ones. You know how you get the uh, crochet sandals? You usually have to poke a hole in it. These sandals, you work around the sandal itself. Hold on. There we go. Let me turn up the volume. Ah! Where's that music coming from? Oh, my goodness. I don't remember... It it's probably here. My bad, guys. What's that? Let that spin detected. Oh, okay, this is not one. a drill, everyone. We're gonna get Tired of your high wireless bill but love your phone? We understand. Now at Sprint, bring your phone and get an unlimited... Tired of poking holes in your flip-flop for your crochet projects? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Just the first couple of seconds today, to watch. we'll be creating these no-sew crochet flip-flops. Let's hop into the materials. In this tutorial, I'll give you three material options. For to start, I want to use a color See? that matches the base of the shoe. So I'm going to use white. All I do is crochet around the sandal itself. There's no need to poke holes in it. So make sure you go check out those tutorials. Here we go. Let's hop back over here. Back to me. Rilla Good says she made the wine glass lanyard. Uh... Shine says, tech guys has messed up our kids. Yeah, but at the same time, I do talk about, hey, you need to go see the real world. You need to interact with people. But the world is just getting more and more advanced. And they're just keeping up with the world. It's just changing. And it's so different. It's even different than it was just 20 years ago. Think of all the things that have changed. My first cell phone I got when I was... 21 it had an antenna <laughs> it was weird i was talking i remember when i was in high school calling my mom on a, a calling card i've asked my daughter I'm like do you know what a calling card is Th those don't even exist anymore <laughs> here we go cc cozy uh 
Alicia, have you ever tried Amazon Handmade? No, I have not because personally, I no longer uh, make custom orders. I thought about it at one point in time, but just never followed through. For me, I enjoy making patterns. I enjoy YouTubing. I enjoy blogging. So some of the things that I create, I just usually just give away to donate or something like that. Uh, Deanna just told me to have another cup of wine. I didn't have a full cup. I just filled it back to, to the top. Hmm. Ah, Care My Cutie Pie, 82. I never saw the flip-flops to store, just uh, to store for the dollar flip-flops. That's where I got mine from. Oh, everybody, not everybody, last week before I closed my chat, I don't know if you can see if that's like a little toe behind there. Those pretty little feet that you've seen in the picture. I usually bring this out at least once a live stream. I have model feet. These are so nifty. I'm going to have to do one of my uh, gadget reviews on my model toes. Because at one point in time, I was using my own feet to model. And I was like, oh, I don't feel like painting my toenails today or getting them done. And then I have to Photoshop the wrinkles off my toe. And I'm like, I don't feel like this. And it was so awkward taking pictures myself because I can never have other people take pictures for me. My daughter does help me sometimes. I appreciate that. But I was taking pictures of my feet and I had the selfie stick all turned to the side. I'm like, forget it. I'm buying feet. So if you sell your items and you want to take some gorgeous pictures, I recommend buying you some feet. These are so weird. Look how the toes bend. And they look so realistic. When I was Googling that, when you, if you do search these, you'll, some weird stuff will pop up <laughs> that aren't just feet. I've seen some things that had gross little things right here. I'm not going to mention it. You can use your imagination. So be wary when you do Google model feet or whatever, some gross things will pop up. J Hook Trochet. My phone was a Nokia. My boyfriend bought me because I was in the army and had no way to communicate. Oh, my, one of my first communication devices was a beeper. I didn't need a beeper. It was so cheap back then. I think uh, to have a beeper, it was 30 bucks every three months. So it was like 10 bucks a month. And you know, my girlfriend next door would beat me. Beep, beep. Oh, I got to go call Nicole. So I'll go to my house phone and call Nicole. Even though Nicole probably could have just called my house, but I just thought it's cool because I had a beeper. It was like purple and see-through. You can see all the gadgets in between it. <laughs> oh, Dia said, where I get the feet? I got the feet from Amazon. CC Cozy Corner, thank you for the informative live streams. Keep up the good work. You inspire me to step out of my comfort zone um, for my Facebook page. Um, I appreciate it and make sure I think I'll announce it exact what day it may be the 18th of April or the 25th of April when I'm going to have the crochet entrepreneur, the woman who has an awesome crochet business. She makes great money. She taught me not personally how to blog, but she has her own courses. I took one of her blog courses. I definitely recommend it. Like I said, her link is down below the crochetpreneur. Oh, my daughter's face is made, so she's ready to come be seen. Here's my beautiful daughter, as always, guys. Mwah. Oh, my daughter is also an essential worker. She works at Taco Bell. So the United <laughs> States needs her work. <laughs> so everybody say hi to Jada. Hi. All right, baby. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. And if you would like to donate to Jada's gas fund, my birthday wait, is two or her now. or her birthday fund from now. <laughs> yeah, your birthday's next week. Her birthday's next week. If you'd like to donate, you can donate to Jada. This will go specifically to her, and she knows because she's hearing me right now. So click the button down below, or yeah, off to the side is shaped like a button. And that will and say happy birthday, Jada. And that money will go directly to Jada for her birthday. So if you do, uh, five dollars, four ninety nine and below, the disco light goes off. Nine ninety nine and below, the bubbles will go off. Ten dollars and above, the balloon will go off. So you can donate for Jada's birthday. I put that out there for you, baby girl. We'll see if somebody loves you. <laughs>
she said it's fine if not <laughs> uh Camille, Kamel, I don't know how I had to say it said her makeup is so gorgeous she is a makeup guru Molly says hey Jada Hook, hook, crochet. I just ordered a shirt since my super chat didn't go through. Oh, your super chat didn't work. I wonder why. I wonder if stuff isn't set up. That's weird. It should work. Hmm, I'm sorry. Everybody's super chat didn't go through. Something's wrong. Pause. We're going to figure this out for Jada's birthday. Why isn't face? Hmm. This was working before. Are these not on? Hey, little buddy. What's are, up? Are you is the live stream over? No, the live stream's not over. Okay. We're trying how to get Jada her uh, birthday money. It's not working. Oh. It's making me sad. Nobody's super chat is working. Maybe I got demonetized for saying the C word. <gasps> let's, everybody, let's, we're going to go in the back screen and see what's going on. Maybe I did get demonetized. This is all the back end of my uh, work. Here we go. And we're on a live stream. Wait, something went off. Something worked. Somebody's worked. Molly, yours worked. Oh, thank you so much, Molly. I don't know why anybody else is not working. Oh, no, Jada. Let's see. Is everything okay back here? I don't see anything. I didn't haul. Let's see. Nope. We'll go to the page. View on YouTube. See, this is what I you guys are seeing, huh? Hmm. I don't know. It says it's working. But Jada. Molly gave you uh, two dollars for a super chat. Thank you so much. That's going directly to Miss Jada, not to me, to my daughter. And the disco light did go off. She is going to be 19 years old. Oh, I'm so sorry. Those won't work. Maybe try again. We'll see what'll pop up. We'll see. And you're not demonetized. <laughs> my son went. Yay! I'm not demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, CC Corner, I hope uh, you still get through your PayPal. Yes, it can go through the PayPal also. There's a little link down below. If you leave a little note with it, I think you can, specifically for Jada, so I know the difference. And I guarantee after the back, she'll be like, what did I get for my birthday? <laughs> Sheila, that was a fast catch on YouTube part if you did get demonetized. Their algorithm is crazy. You know how um, there's a closed caption and you might notice the closed caption don't catch every word or have like something weird word for what you say. It's actually their system reading, analyzing every word I say. They know exactly what I'm saying. Even the pictures that I post on like for my thumbnail, they can tell if it's, uh, it has sexual content in it or if it's targeted toward kids. It's crazy. <gasps> oh, you got to wait. Happy birthday, Jada. My daughter just turned 19th on 19 on the 24th. $10. Happy birthday to your daughter, too. Thank you so Thank you. much. <laughs> have you seen glasses anymore? I have not seen your glasses. Oh, I can't turn anything off. Oh, up the button. Stop. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, we got another one. Jasmine, she gave you $9.99. $10. For another happy birthday, Jada. Oh, girl, you are making out. <laughs> she ran into her room. She's almost late for work. She's trying to get her uh, beautiful face together. Everybody cheers to Stephanie and Jasmine. Raise. She found her glasses. Now you got to say thank you to Jasmine. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> wow, it's good to be young. I remember when I was 19. It seems just like yesterday when I was that young. What'd you say? 20 years ago. 20 years ago ain't that long ago. Longer than I've been alive. She said it's longer than I've been alive. 
Boo to Jada. Love you. Love you too. Oh, Proverbs 31. Who is Jada? Jada is my most wonderful only daughter in the whole wide world. <laughs> Say hi yeah. one more time before I get dressed. Oh, you can say hi one more time before you get dressed. Who is Jada? This is Jada. This is my 19-year-old daughter. Soon to be 19. Wait, somebody else who donated this $10. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Jada. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everybody give Iris a cheers. Know what? This is your birthday gift. No, it's not. That's so it's sweet. You guys. No, you know thank we love you. Guys. She says thank you. The world spoils you. Hmm. Wait, is your Whisper SDI, is your Gmail address your PayPal? No. Check in the description box. It is, I'll type it out. Wait, wait, another one, Jada. Wait, another one. Proverbs 31, $10. Thank you. <laughs> Come back over, kid. You can't, you'll never have time to get dressed. Fine. Man. Thank you. Oh, everybody loves her. You're so sweet. Oh, can you press those buttons for me? The lit ones? Aquarian Queen says happy birthday. Do I have to turn them back on? No, you don't have to turn them back on. I was 16 when I had my first dollar. That was uh Shireen. I think I pronounced her name right. I was I had my daughter at 20. Uh I was pregnant at 19, but I had her at 20. So yeah, being a young mom, that's tough. I bet uh, by the time your uh, yeah. daughter was like 18, you guys probably look like sisters, guaranteed. Victoria said, cheers. Deanna said, this is so fun. It is. It was quiet in here. See, you're, you're on their own lucky charm. Philomena, I saw your beautiful pattern for the pocketbook in Bobble Stitch, but it was in Spanish. Do you have one? Oh, you saw a pattern. No, I don't have a pocketbook in um, Spanish. I don't have a person. Well, we got another one, Jada. You're, I think, Jada, you might, how much have you made? You're, I think, like 50 bucks so far. <laughs> Isaac, can you press the red light? Okay, we're going to count how, how much did she make? There we go, slip one. Don't press that, but just keep one. And that found me. these results. I wasn't talking to you, Google. Oh my, thank you so much. Another uh, crochet YouTuber. She just started her channel, Gigi the Crochet Chain Queen. Make sure you check her up, out. Jay Hook Crochets, keep it going and she'll get a car. You know what? We'll talk for a little bit more. This will be, Lori Murphy gave you some money, Jada, for your birthday. She said, happy birthday, Jada. Lori, she'll be out to say hi to you in a second <laughs> because she's getting dressed right now. So she'll be right out. Can you press that, the lit ones? Thank you so much, everybody. Cheers to Lori Murphy. Man, this is so awesome. Molly Smile says, I had my son at 18. Is it like, are we all young moms here? Hmm. A queer and queen. I relate, my daughter is now 29 and I was just 19. A queer and queen is a granny. Look at that face. She looks so, I, when she told me that you have a 29 year old, that's so crazy, but you're, you're absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. Uh, Deanna says I'm 70 and my daughter had my daughter at 18. She's now 51 and an R1, an RN and one amazing woman. You know what? Cheers to your daughter. Cause right now she is a nurse dealing with all of this craziness right now. So yes. Oh, uh, Shireen, yes, you, oh, it, I'm about to lose you. Yes, you did. You pronounced it right. Happy, bir happy birthday, sweetie. So I didn't, sorry, I didn't work or I would donate. This is not forced to donate, but just you saying happy birthday. I appreciate you being here right now. So cheers to you, Shireen. Here we got Dieta says cheers. Okay, really uh, good says I had my first at 20. Now a Grammy of four. Congratulations, Grammy. Is that what they call you? Aquarian Queen, a proud granny. Thank you. You are gorgeous yourself. Thank you so much. All right, you gotta say uh thank you to Lori. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. 
Can we get a pet hamster? What'd you say? Can we get a pet hamster? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> she's reading ahead. Molly, she's reading yours. My son will 16, wait, be 16 on July 17th. He's homeschools, has a pet hamster, and he's so sweet. I have a wonderful son. He's my only child. My daughter just seen your comment and said, can we have a pet hamster? Maybe I might let that one, because you know, guys, I've been still thinking about a cat. You guys going to clean up the pet hamster cage? It won't be my job. Yeah. Uh, uh, Whisper, SDI, I send a little something for your daughter in PayPal. Man, everybody loves. Thank you so much, Whisper, SDI. You got to say another thank you. Thank you. You're so awesome. Happy birthday from Helen. Who else? Oh, Lori says, you're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> Laura says, I was pregnant at 17 and had him at 18. I have two grown boys, age 34 and 31. I have four grandchildren. And Laura, you look amazing, too. And Jada, you can have your first child at 35. Wait, wait. A queer and queen gave you $10. Thank you, Thank you so much. Cheers, Deletti. Thank you so Imaginary much. Drink. Uh, yeah. You have your real drink at 21. She said imaginary drink. <laughs> uh, Christina, best family pet ever is a great day. Wait, another one. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Um, Curlism. Have a great birthday, girl. <laughs> she tripped trying to come over to say hi. Are you okay? Yeah. I was just laughing at me. <laughs> and my son is laughing. This has become an event. I, I wonder how... I need to count. I, I think you might have made like a hundred dollars. I don't know. How five? <laughs> Do you feel special? Yeah, they feel bad that they're all sending me money. <laughs> oh, she's like, I feel bad they're all sending me money. They're showing their appreciation for you because she is an awesome daughter. She is, guys. Thank you so much. What else is going on? Uh, cheers. Uh, may you be blessed on your life's journey from Aletti. Thank you. Patricia Fields, happy birthday, sweetie. She said happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, Patricia Fields, she's the one that always has those gorgeous pictures on my page. And Jay Hook, aka Reggie. I should say Reggie, aka Jay Hook, says cheers. Okay. Deanna, this is an amazing day for Jada. <laughs> Big hugs, germ free. Yeah, social distance hug. Mm -hmm. That's a hug I'm gonna have to do when I get back to work. <laughs> Oh, Coralism said, don't feel bad. She's the one that donated too. Thank you so much. Uh, Molly, smile. Where? Oh, I just missed Molly's. It was up there. Right there. Where? One? Here we go. First to start. Ooh, I'm still scared from tornadoes that hit my area last year. Those sirens freak me out. Get to safety ASAP. You know what? I can imagine. We had, uh, my husband got into a car accident. Was it two years ago now? Or, yeah, about yeah. two years ago now. But after, it was because we were like caravanning. He was in the front car. I was in the back car. He was in the car ahead of me with my son. And I was in the car behind him with my daughter. And we were crossing this bridge. And this teenage girl coming the other way was in the middle of the lane and hit my husband head on. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever saw. My daughter was... It happened in slow motion. I didn't believe this was happening. And those sirens that go off during an accident, it still gives me like those chills. Luckily, my husband only came out with a fractured foot. He's all better. And my son was perfectly fine. I just wanna... with a hurt shoulder. Yeah, he's in the corner listening. He's like, just with a hurt shoulder. Yeah, the seat belt. Yeah, the seat, he had a um, seat belt burn from um, the accident. Cause you know, he jerked him, but a teenage girl on her phone while driving. My husband couldn't swerve to get out the way because he was on a bridge. There was no place to swerve and just hit them head on. Most horrifying day of my life. And those sirens, I still hate to hear them. Here we go. I know. Um, when my friends were breaking up, we're used to the fire alarm. Uh-huh. My daughter was talking about her friend were getting freaked out by the fire alarms that go off near the fire station. Here we go. Christina, happy birthday. Hate to run, but must go. See you later. Yeah. Uh, she must go and be a mama and do laundry. Yuck. You know what? I got two loads of laundry sitting in the laundry basket getting nice and wrinkled for me. Here we go. 
Oh, Aquarian Queen, you says, I have a bunny. She's precious. I'm caring for her for my sister. You want a bunny? Mm -hmm. How about like... You want a cat? Yeah, I want a kitten. I think I'm going to give in. Maybe I might give in, buddy. After the corona season, I might give in. Hopefully, he'll forget about it. But I'll just, for the love of you, I'll pack up yarn and put him in a tub and do what I have to do. Make the little people happy. Dieta, it's the small blessings in life that sustain us. Look for every beauty in every moment. I like that. Shanita Brown, have them all the have them all the time in Kansas, and I'm still scared every season. Love you, mom. You about ready to leave? I'll Love text you to let you know how much you made. <laughs> Thank you. Thank her, you, guys. Tell her happy birthday. She's off the work at the Taco of Bell. <laughs> because she's an essential worker. Because what would the world do without... Where are your gloves? What? Yeah, you can have a brownie. What would the world do without Taco Bell? Okay, Christina. I was in a hit-on accident, too, 11 years ago. Never recovered. I am so sorry to hear that. Laura, I live next door to the fire and police department. You would be freaked out hourly. My very first apartment was near, uh, when I moved out of my parents' house, me and my daughter, it was right near a railroad track crossing. And the building was considered a historic building for them to get grants to fix it. They had to have original like features. So my window panes were like single pane. And every time the train would go by, I would hear the, because they have to make the horn. And my windows would shake. Everything in my apartment would shake. But my daughter, she was a wee little thing then. She used to sit by the window and watch it. She loved it. She used to pull open the blinds. My blinds were like bent from her looking inside of them. <laughs> Love, you. Love you too, baby doll. Be safe. Aquarian Queen. Alicia, my friend sent me a photo of crochet kitty co co kitty cooches. Did I say that right? Couches? <laughs> the other day. <laughs> crochet kitty couches. Why did I say cooches? Couches the other day. <laughs> Molly smiled. Yes, Sheila. I decided to not get a washer in my apartment. I just go to the laundromat. I actually enjoy talking to people at the laundromat. Right now, like our laundromats are closed. So people who need to go to the laundromat are like stuck. What are you guys doing if you need to go to the laundry? If you don't, you know what I mean, have your own washer and dryer. Because when I lived in my raggedy old, my first apartment with a window shook next to the railroad tracks, I always went to my mom, if this uh, coronavirus thing happened currently and I lived in that situation, I don't know how I wash my clothes because so far I'm, not, I'm leaving my parents alone. I'm doing my right thing by social distancing because my dad's almost 70, even though they're fit. My mom is the most, and dad are the most hilarious people. They're still married. She always tells me, ooh, me and your daddy are still young. We look good. Uh, so and said, we only look 40. I'm like, girl, you do look good. And they love exercising and going for walks, but I still want to be safe and keep them where they are. <laughs> uh, Relic Good said her laundromat's open. Molly smiled. The laundromats are open here. There's one around the corner. Thank goodness. Okay, if you guys have any more questions, I'm not going to let this live stream go as long as usual because... We have people who want attention right now. Oh, some of the, before I get off, I've got some things to keep the children entertained during the summer. I went and bought myself, ordered from Amazon, a brand new projector. So hopefully in the backyard, I can have movie night with the kids. And I bought this cool, uh, I'm dropping stuff. Movie screen is rolled up in here that we can pop up and watch movies in the background. My husband has, my family are golfers. I'm not a golfer, but my son, my husband, my husband's father and his father's father. Like, what was it? My husband's grandfather. He was a caddy for somebody in 19, uh, for early 40 something and learned how to golf. And he taught all of his children how to golf. So we have our own little huge golf net where he can do that. All we need is some place to swim in the back backyard and we'll have it all set. I'm trying to make this as entertaining and as away from other people as possible for this summer. Michelle says, my oldest daughter is a first responder. I have been in three accidents to this day. I get a little upset. 
I can only imagine my mother, uh, she was a state police for over 20 years. And she would always tell me about the story for her first accident that she came upon. On the first year of being a um, state police officer, you're pretty much trailing somebody or you're always a buddy with somebody. And they came across this horrific accident. The guy she was with, they're like, you know what? Why don't you sit back for this? This is your very first one. She's like, no, I'm a police officer. She was probably like 115 pounds, five, six. Oh my, I didn't charge my uh, laptop, it's dying. Oh no, oh, I found the cord. Okay, it's plugged in. We little thing. But, you know, she's like, no, I got this. She said her face would like turn green. She tried to hold it in, but it was just so, so shocking to see. I give her credit for everything that she does. She's a tough, tough woman. Here we go. Dieta, hand wash and hang out and hang outdoors. Remember clothes lines and clothes pins. Oh. I used to love, I've, I've, I haven't hung anything out the line since I moved into this house. I've only lived in like three different places, but I should put up a laundry line. I used to love what my grandma did. And she used to teach me exactly how to put the pins and where to hang it so there wouldn't be wrinkles and it dry nicely. Aquarian Queen, Alicia, thank you for live streaming and helping us stay safe and bringing us together during this trying time for our nations. Oh, you are very welcome. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I and everybody who donated to my daughter for her birthday, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This is going all directly towards her. So, guys, I'm going to sign off, take more, one more sip, and see you all next stream, last stream. I don't know what our topic will be next week, but I'll think of something because I realize I can't be without you guys. Maybe we'll just chit-chat. We'll see. All right, guys.